why are all the planets in our solar system round in shape while comets and meteorites are kind of uneven? So I'm sure I've answered this question before, but let's take it again. There is a phenomenon called hydrostatic equilibrium. So what happens is that when you have a large enough object with large enough mass, then the gravitational force of the object that the that, that it exerts upon its constituent uh, parts it becomes stronger the gravity of the of the object becomes stronger than the structural strength of the materials that make it up that are part of it so that's how the object becomes spherical because the most you know the 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 most perfect shape that you can have of any object is a sphere. So the gravitational force of the object, it, it defeats the structural strength of, of, uh, its, uh, of its constituents, which is the rocks and whatever else that you have in the, in the object. And that's how it becomes, uh, it becomes kind of spherical. So a sphere, essentially, like I said before in a different uh, answer, it has the smallest surface area for a given volume. And the lowest energy state. And nature wants the lowest energy state. You can think of it that way. And that's how planets become spherical once they acquire a certain mass. So it's about hydrostatic equilibrium. But when it comes to uh, objects like asteroids and meteorites and meteors and comets, etc., these are, are too small for the gravity of that object to defeat the internal strength of the material, the rock and whatever else it, else it is. Uh, and it's also the fact that the fact is that uh, these objects are left over from the initial stage, the initial uh, era, which was the birth of the solar system, and uh, and maybe these objects they never were able to come together and and coalesce together, which would form planets. So that's why uh, these smaller objects are not spherical in shape while the, while the larger planets themselves are spherical in shape.